And hello there. Hey everyone, how's it going? My name is Henry and welcome back to the channel. Sorry about that brief hiatus. Today we got some exciting news. We got three, count them, three blog posts from, uh, from Microsoft, the uh, Flight Simulator team that we're going to be going over today. And one by one, they range from June 20th, 2019, all the way up to uh, July 25th, 2019. So let's go over all three of them and see what's going on. If you're new to the channel, my name is Henry. I generally cover aviation related content, especially when it comes to flight sims, things like that, even real world flying. Um, but yeah, today we're going to be talking about the new Microsoft Flight Simulator and going off what is new. So here we are. We are at the first article here and it is dated June 20th, 2019. It is on uh, FSI, MicrosoftStudios.com. Uh, so Microsoft Flight Insider dot MicrosoftStudios.com. And let's just go over a nice little uh, Leonardo da Vinci quote. And it's basically them just uh, kicking off. Thanks for uh, being so excited. Being so excited. So they have five main points. We are making Microsoft Flight Simulator. Emphasis on the word simulator. So that is good to know. <laughs> it's not going to be kind of an arcade game like Ace Combat. Again, we're going back to the roots. We're going to simulation. Designed for PC, optimized for multi-platform like Xbox. That's a really big one because a lot of people were concerned, oh, this is because it's going to be like an Xbox port, you know, it's just they're going for the money. But it's good to see that, again, like previous flight sims and current sims, we are designing for PC. Um, and number three, yes, we are supporting third-party content, which is amazing. So, yes, you will still have your payware, your freeware, uh, mods, all that other system. So it looks like, as they say below, we are aware of the concerns in the current ecosystem and are working to address them. So hopefully, um, I don't feel like that's a solid, we'll be supporting everything, all mods, but uh, I'm very curious to see how they go through that. Hopefully, like Symbiation, um, all the other amazing places you can get your mods and aircraft, hopefully those will still be relevant in this new ecosystem that they're calling. Uh, four, yes, we generally want to work closely with the community in the development of this title. So again, uh, another blog post goes more into depth about this, but they are willing to listen, which is great. And last but not least, accessibility is important to us. So it doesn't matter what your ability is, if you're using a controller, your mouse, yoke and pedals, if you're a nerd like myself and you have the full set, you're good to go. No pilot shall be left behind, as they have said. So again, it's great to see them supporting a large area of the community and them being willing to communicate with us heck they have this little uh insider site which is pretty cool to say the least so that's the first one it's basically just saying here we are we are real sim don't worry because <laughs> again there were a few concerns starting off with uh it being just arcade here's the second uh developer blog july 11th 2019 development update and coming with this we have a nice little screenshot here of a six pack looks like a cessna or uh something i can't really tell actually it looks like it's a stick instead so i i don't know like uh uh one of those guys so yeah i've got a full uh six pack hdr lighting everything else it looks really nice a little bit of a focus there again probably photoshopped whatever but hey let's read this i was really into the dog days of summer they've been uh yeah just working on some updates there are very important topics that the community is talking about New flight models, IFR and VFR, so flying instrument, as well as vis visual, so using your eyes, weather simulation, VR support, etc. So again, they're looking at it, and they're going to update us in the future. So again, yeah, okay, so screenshot, and again, you can sign up for their insider program on their site, and peace out. So again, just another little thing saying, yeah, we're still here. And the latest one, which was yesterday, July 25th, 2019 development update they have a little bit of a video here in the clouds over barcelona wonderful good old barcelona let's take a quick look i think it's like a really quick three second clip full screen play it yeah that's nice you can tell um optimize the terrain for 4k it looks very detailed bitmap and the whole whatnot um my only concern is the clouds look kind of horrible <laughs> <laughs> again they're still in the development process which makes sense but the clouds don't really look hd they look really smudged right now um i don't know if that's like the particle rendering or if they're just like how however they're rendering the clouds 
they're still working on it, so hence the development update. It's still a work in progress. Um, so for this post, they actually went to AV Sim and they actually went over the forums and they're communicating with the community like they said they would. Good job, Microsoft. Uh, so let's take a quick look at this post. So August Insider Program kicked off. Fans preview and some contact clips, all that stuff. August mid late, what we're gonna see. Build Pro Prim, SDK update, third party content update. We're getting. It's nice how they're outlining everything, how we're going to be able to see. So um, late, late August is looks like their uh, public participation sign up. So if, I'm guessing if you want to be part of the beta, public beta, fingers crossed, keep your eyes in the loop. Make sure you stay uh, current. So what we want, an AV sim thread. There are two important plans we will be sharing with you in September. The pipeline for how we provide an in-depth look at the product we are building and the process for how we will integrate the community into processing oh, to this process to facilitate a collaborative partnership and bring this product to launch. Um, this, this is really good in the sense that Microsoft is taking their time or at least making it look like they're taking their time. But um, by the way that they're going through the forums, they're actually listening to people, which is a really positive thing. It's it's something really positive to see in this light. So let's go over a few of the questions they've answered from the forums. Um, the question was early August for Insider. Hope I get in from the Reddit. And Microsoft said you're in. August will kick off the Insider program. Insiders will be able to log into the site and given access to the Insider area, not just directed to the fact as per current. So again, I'll make sure you stay current on that. Funny. Microsoft, don't read AV Sim for any of the forums. La la la. Well, this is awkward. Ha ha. Finally, the team would like to take a moment. Call attention to ABC mode 1888HC. Your effort and contributions do not go unnoticed. Thank you. So, ooh, PS hint announcement coming next update for uh, Microsoft Flight Simulator X. What is that? Do we get to port our old airplanes? Do we get to do something? Um, are they adding HD resolutions officially? We don't know. That's that's exciting. Uh, an update about Microsoft, Microsoft Flight Sim X or 10. That's that's really exciting. So here we are. That's that's kind of currently what's going on. Uh, make sure you sign up for the insider stuff because, again, this isn't sponsored. I'm looking out for you guys because um, there's a lot of exciting news coming this August about uh, the new Flight Sim as well as Flight Sim 10, so FSX. That's really interesting. I wasn't expecting that. But anyways... Uh, what do you all think about the uh, sim so far? Are you happy to hear that Microsoft is taking a uh, stance with the community? That's really exciting. Uh, anyways, let us know below. Please subscribe and uh, like to stay informed on what is going on with Microsoft Flight Sim. And as always, fly safe and happy landings. See you all next time.